Grant, um, commiserations today, but what a season. What a season and amazing to be champions and actually be able to lift the trophy today. What a feeling. What a feeling. Do you know, um, all season, it's uh, it's been tough. You know, game after game, week after week, it's been hard. Um, it's been a, It's been a long 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 season uh, even though it's been condensed in terms of the time um, it's felt long um, but it's been so enjoyable you know to, to come into work every day with this group of players and this group of staff and to, and to the, finally lift the trophy with the amber and black uh, ribbons on it today was, was, was special and something that will live with me forever and um, again it's just a shame we've got no fans in here to, to support us but I, I believe there's fans made their way down and, and, and welcoming players under the bus and uh, you know it's just I just, I just can't wait for next season now. I know, I know it's, I know it's like enjoy the night, but I just can't wait for next season because it's a special group of players and it's going to be a long seven or eight weeks without them. Um, but I've enjoyed every single minute of it, of, of it this season. Could you highlight one particular point of the season which you enjoyed the most? The wins, obviously. Uh, we <laughs> always enjoy the wins, and um, you know, uh, for us to to come here today, and I mean. If I speak a little bit about the game, I thought first half we were excellent. We just we didn't take our chance. Second half, um, maybe a lot of things caught up with us. Maybe you know being in the moment for the last couple of weeks has, has caught up with the boys. But to a man, they've been outstanding all season. They really have, um, and we can have a really good night tonight, and we can enjoy it and and let our hair down a little bit. And um, it's uh, it's been a monumental effort effort from everybody. What time's George going to start singing "We Are the Champions"? Being a massive Queen fan, to be honest, he's 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 been he's been banging on about it um, for a while, and he wants he wants it on. So I'm sure it was on in the change room there. And um, you know, honestly, the whole season it's been it's just been great. You know, uh, yes, there's been ups and downs. Of course, it has. There's been defeats when when we haven't been great. But the, the you know the character of the group, the, the way they bounce back from defeats, the way they the way they can respond and, and, and show real unity and togetherness. And even today, second half, we we're, were not at our best, but you could still you still sense we were going to get something and a um, couple of half opportunities. But look, credit to Charlton, they were they were desperate to win the game today. For us, it was about trying to do a professional job. Um, pleasing to see young Harry Wood make yep. his debut. Kid's going to be a special talent, he really is. His first pass when he came on, when he broke a line. Um, you know, he's been with us now for four or five months and he's deserved that opportunity so I'm delighted for him but um, look today is really not about the game it's about the season and um, it's been a it's been a tremendous season and uh, the boys can enjoy a well earned rest have you know a, a decent night a good night tonight with, with with all the staff and the players and the owner and um, I'm just delighted for everybody connected to the football club to see that today you know for fir the first time in 55 years is, is amazing. And how does that make you feel joining such a small band of managers who've been able to uh, put a team together to go and pick up that trophy at the end as champions? Yeah, well, we had to respond, you know, I mean, um, for, for what happened last year and uh, we had to respond, you know, we've been, I've mentioned it before, we've been written off on numerous occasions um, this season, even after defeats we've been written off and um, sometimes it's hard to take, you know, it is and uh, this group of players, they, they take it personally. Um, but what we've got now is a real good core of experience in there. You know, a class like people like Honeyman and uh, McGuinness and Smallwood and Coyle, you know, that core Callum Elder. And then we've got the nice little blend of the Hull boys and the youngsters coming through. And um, there's a nice there's a nice, uh, there's a nice blend of this team. And I think it's only going to get better. You know, it's only going to get better once we get, get our teeth into to the recruitment side for next season. Um, again, top of the list will be character um, over anything. Um, hopefully we can have another good year next year. Yeah. The key thing as well, though, obviously, this season has been without the fans. Is there anything else that you'd like to maybe um, shout out to them? Obviously, having to be at home watching on TVs and radios and whatever other means to uh, tune in and watch the Tigers play. Anything else you'd like to say to them? Yeah, just look. Thank you very much for for all your support this season. Um, I know I know you are supporting us. You know, I know the stream numbers, watching the games. You know, the, the club keep me informed and that. And it's been amazing to see so many people watching us home and away this season. Um, and I just hope you can come back and see us soon. Um, 
you know, this group missed the fans. You know, the Hull boys, they missed the fans. The, some of the new signings haven't seen our fans yet, you know, and it's, it, it's almost like you're starting again, you know, and you, the fans are coming, hopefully coming back next season. Uh, and we can all be together as one. Um, win, lose or draw, you know, we stick together and uh, hopefully we can have another good year. Louis, um, obviously the result was almost irrelevant today, but um, the job was done already. But just how pleased are you to have that uh, medal and the flag donning around your shoulders? Just un unbelievable feeling. Um, obviously, we've had sort of two weeks of celebrations in terms of obviously initially getting promoted and then obviously being crowned champions last week. But nothing will ever ever beat the feeling of um, of that being around my neck. Um, just just yeah, that that's the reason I was in football. That's the reason I, I sort of graft every day and I'm putting the hard yards for, for days like this and, and they don't come around often. So when they do, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna soak every every minute of it up. You've had that opportunity for it to sink in since Lincoln, but does it still feel a little bit like a, a bit like a dream being a Hullborn guy and uh, representing your hometown team? Yeah, just uh, again, I, I keep looking at this. I can't, I can't stop looking at it. Um, yeah, it's just yeah, it gets me a little bit sort of welled up about thinking about it, just because I know myself what I put in. I know what every single lad in that dressing room puts in, the staff, everybody involved. So for it to come come to the point where you have the medal around your neck, you have the flag draped around your shoulders and you, and you know it's all happened and yeah, just, just a dream come true and, and something I'm so proud of being from the city as well. And as well, when Richie's been out injured, you've donned the armband for the majority of the time he's been out, so that must make it even more special. Yeah, of course, it's extra special wearing the armband for, for any club, but obviously being, being my hometown club is it, something I'm fantastically sort of proud of. Um, and obviously, like you're saying, Richie's absence, unfortunately, with his injury and whatnot, I had to sort of take that role on and it's one that I've enjoyed sort of every minute um, and just, just to see everyone stood behind that board today like you say everybody involved with the club um, with that trophy in our hands is, is nothing short of what we deserve but just, just the best feeling I can ever describe Obviously now we go into the summer but you must be itching just for the championship to get started Yeah of course listen that's always been my aim to get back to the championship and, and obviously my route back to the championship was probably going to have to be by being, being in a league one team that gets promoted and unfortunately for me my, my first year at Hull that's what I've gone and done so I'm absolutely relishing the chance to, to get back to the championship and, and hopefully I take it with both hands and, and everyone inside that dressing room can enjoy playing in the level which we deserve. So all in all, it's been a perfect year for you? Yeah, as, as, as perfect as perfect can be. Um, just so many boxes ticked and just, just yeah, so many goals achieved, um, so many dreams come true. I said to my old man last year after see I had heartbreak personally in the playoffs myself, um, I said to him I will get you that medal one day. So that's for you Pops, it's for my mum and it's for all my family as well.